Dangerous. Mysterious. Unpredictable. The crocodile is Timor Leste's sacred animal. Nowadays, people staying close to the sea can observe an increasing number and a more imminent danger through this predator. So called problem crocodiles will start to kill small animals like dogs or goats and ultimately can go as far as attacking humans. Most uh, areas that, that have these sort of estrine muds that you can see around us here in the mangroves in the background are fairly typical crocodile environments. In 2010, the first meetings between the Presidency of Timor-Leste and Northern Territory Wildlife Ranger and Crocodile Specialist Brett Easton took place. The Australian went for a first assessment and discussed with a group of ministry employees how to collaborate on crocodile management in Timor-Leste. The trapping program we run in Darwin Harbour has been going for about 20 years now and it's very successful. It'll be up to these Timorese to determine what the best approach is that they'll adopt. So looking at the map of Timor, I think you can I'd be able to confidently say that there looks like there'd be significant crocodile habitats along all of the southern coast. A first step towards crocodile management in Timor-Leste has been made. Almost two years later, a Timorese organization, the Crocodile Task Force, has been founded with the support of the presidency and different ministries. The members are the ones that will deal with the crocodile issue in Timor-Leste firsthand. Police, military, navy and future rangers from different ministries. These brave men are going to Darwin, Australia to learn from the best crocodile rangers in the world how to manage crocodiles. They will follow an intensive training during 10 days. They will study to capture crocodiles, manage the population and inform the people to keep the public safe of the predator's attacks. Crocodile Task Force. The story begins. Agora tu va Australia. Northern Territory. Ma treinamento va gestão na FAE e a Timor Leste a Bombeiro. Programa do Estado na Haruka. Va treinamento com a <laughs> Our Crocodile Task Force is facing mixed feelings. Stress and happiness go hand in hand. For some of them, it's the first trip abroad. They realize how important the mission is for the country and for themselves. After a one hour flight, the plane lands in Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Darwin. Please remain seated with your seatbelts carefully fastened until the aircraft. At the airport, the team from Timor is greeted by Brad Easton, happy to finally start the next stage of the collaboration between Timor-Leste and the Northern Territory. Straight away, the training begins with a first briefing at the wildlife unit. There's a lot to learn from the Australian professionals. What we're going to do this, this afternoon is just have a general briefing, okay? So you guys are just comfortable, you know who we are, and you've got a clear understanding of, of what you guys are here for and what you can expect to do. I want you to be able to understand how crocodiles fit into the management in, in Australia, or in the Northern Territory. And I'll also go into a little bit more detail about, about public safety. If you're in the game of catching crocodiles and managing crocodiles, you're in the game of public safety. Saltwater crocodiles are common in our waterways. They're not rare, it's not unlucky, it's not unusual. Right? So there's a very good chance there's a saltwater crocodile in most of our waterways somewhere. But we can't put a sign, you know, a warning sign, next to every spot where there's a crocodile because there's crocodiles everywhere. So with the saltwater crocodile, it's, it's, a, it's a predator. It's a, it's a hunter, it's, it's not shy. It, it, if, it's, if it's hungry, if the opportunity arises, it can attack. If it looks like food, it'll get it. They have what, 60, I think 66 teeth replacing each other themselves. So over time, if they lose a tooth, another one will grow. This afternoon, 
is very important for our task force team. They understand the similarities between crocodiles in Timor-Leste and in Australia. The crocodile is sacred in Timor-Leste, but it still is a serious threat to the community. So they're in safe hands, they're certainly not going to be uh, thrown into anything too dangerous too quickly, but like I said, we're hoping that everyone gets hands-on experience. It feels like our heroes should call it a day now. Their heads buzzing with new information and impressions. But still, no rest in sight. The Australian Rangers have prepared a special night expedition. The first animal that our Timorese have to fight with is significantly smaller than a crocodile. While I'm setting up the equipment, you, you always have that backup. Even when you've got all this electronic gear, you still have the backup. Ranger Keith instructs the participants on the equipment for the night spotlight survey. Most important is an efficient documentation of the spotted crocodiles. The night ride can start. When we're doing the spotlighting for crocodiles, you're actually panning the bank. There's one there, swimming down the channel. You're panning along, you know, like that from side to side, up and down the bank. That's a nice, I'm gonna say that one is a 12, um, which means I think it's between 11 and 12 feet long. So that, that's a small one, little one, four, maybe a five. It's not easy um, and it takes a while to get the skill with the spotlight. For the Timorese, spotting all the crocs lurking in the dark is exciting, but also a bit frightening when they realise how many are actually out there. That's that big one. That's a large crocodile. That's a 13. Yesterday, the members of the Crocodile Task Force got to know a lot of new things. Now it's time to start the practical training and meet the crocs. On two recently captured crocodiles, they learn how to identify the salty's gender. So the males will have a stem. So this is a female. Yeah. You feel the the difference, yes? Difference, it is a valuable yeah. first practical lesson for the task force. Yeti more and so how to basically lap tau. Tau go my bay, tohene, hare basic, point per mira base, basic pa la fai can sana. The sitam moss for mutton ba popular san la fai. Near Kondisan, or Saudi. Yeah, how to? Yeah. Yeah. Tebes. Yeah. Yeah. Crocodile name. So directamente are you sira? Equipa o si? Tutto l'Australia in servizio con la fai. Quindi non sira il fuoco ni cemento. Car la fai che ne sani. Yeah. Non sai esperienza di passare sira tutto pratico direttamente sira tutto va bene. Esperienza di. In the way that the Australian rangers treat the crocodiles, no pain is inflicted. Very well done. Some crocodiles will make you look silly. Um, some will make you look like a professional. That's the only negative part of the job is that working with animals, they're unpredictable. You know, you just got to have another uh, second plan with what you're going to do, but now I've never regretted my job. Seeing a female ranger dealing with big crocodiles nearby is a novelty for the Timorese. But in Australia, it is common that women do tough jobs. Tom, the boss of the rangers and a living legend, is happy to share his amazing years-long experience and gives more details on capturing methods to the Timorese.
It is very important for our task force to understand the traps and the other crocodile handling materials before actually using them. The crocodiles now will be transported to the croc farm, so they kept cool. As soon as we do the identification, we take them straight down. So we'd only like to hold them for no longer than two days. Yeah. After this short lesson by the professional, now a visit to the crocodile farm is next on the schedule. So far, all crocodile encounters have been controlled and safe. Fatine dia que te vias, nas experiências de mamãe me visita Fatine para a bomba rua vaca era melhor a minha plano as estão ter dia que vai ser aqui é que lá vai cara que é sofrer Fatine gerança né? Ou é mas aí que Fatine gerança né? Mas aqui é que lá vai que barra gerança né? Especialmente o somente o boto. Ia boto barra mas está halo. Mas quando a bala vai que lá os atos hanuendo está a tocar mas a tu o ensa a tu halo estão para bele familiar ou tenha ambiente tenha situação. Tambah kena bala faik, ini ni mem problem abot, bah ini ni way way ni. Nabe saya itu aprend aprend ini masih itu tesis ame husi ame ekipan ini laos itu ni dek. Saya reforce tentang hawa ini mabe universitari sira. Ia masih ramai nak ni, perbeli halu dokumen turu mak kena bala faik. The team enjoys Crocodilus Park, as Timo Lester does not yet have any wildlife attractions like this. But after this almost relaxing morning. The first contact with wild crocodiles will be happening shortly. On Adelaide River, the next practical lesson with Ranger Joey takes place. The Adelaide River is known for a high concentration of saltwater crocodiles. Um, a lot of tourist operators um, have boat cruises here for jumping crocodiles. Well, tomorrow we're going to be going out in the harbour, I'm taking two boats out, uh, doing our trap runs, so um, I think it will probably be about nine traps to do tomorrow. So if there are crocodiles in the traps, we'll just go through the process then of removing a croc from a trap. And um, so that'll probably be the, the big thing. Today, the task force team is doing their first trap run in the Darwin Harbour area. They will learn how the crocodile traps are being used. And they're certainly hoping to encounter some crocodiles captured inside the cage during this operation. So the crocodile swims through that open door, swims in, jumps up, bites that bait and this pulls that <laughs> pin and the door shuts. The rangers have to check the traps once a week. If the cage is empty, it will be rebaited. In case there's a crocodile caught, it will be taken into the boat and back to the rangers headquarters. The task force team is up for today and proud to be assisting the Australian rangers. Checking and rebaiting the traps is a safety first job and there is a strict procedure that our rangers will have to learn by heart. Now this one was empty, yeah, so we've put a fresh bait in it, checked the door and hopefully that little crocodile that we just saw goes in there next week. Finally, the group encounters a first crocodile trapped in a cage. We always double check, make sure it's tight. Just here. After securing the crop, it can join the group on board. When he comes down, you can just sit their foot softly on his head. He did a fantastic job. Yeah, really good. Well done. <laughs> Aprende unsa air lava yang kita tasi larang buat fum bami. Kami aprende sini nene. Wengi rampi laba timur. Kami beli esfor sama niang udah teknik ni ambil uza yang niarai. Kau nampak mestri nene dua nene sirah teknik kapas los sirah experience barak. 
belhatu de amin diretamente hare wen sakar la fae permira sira uja tali ka kesin ya ibung depois dada pues lori isolasi takan ya ibung bobar ni matang mo bobar ten ni matang depois mendara sae kesin ya atama tau baro larang de lori mai ida ne experiencia bo tira hatu de kata fetemos participa iha 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 buat pa parte utu tu eh e ma hatene katak soe ma mana ritmo gol karla fai mai pe a iha trena dor na ndua ne feto si rei ha bonta di dia si rei experience makas para hodi eh bele fo trena ba ami ne ha se experience ida para ba futuru wa karika na saun timor leste mo sa a iha planu Ida na be mak dia kan tahun ita bele halo jas tahun dia kida. Iya la fai ketang ida, sentimenta se hak for kutuang. Tau kula tau, hak for a dit, tamba sira na sistema na kapas los. <hesitation> Habila tete kata <hesitation> profesionalismo, iya sira na servisu, iya sira na kanar, bye bye. Kapas a ima, iya sprinza. Mesmo feto, mas vejo se é experiência que tem mais quando vai dar, né? A fira que está para o futuro, feto de mormos, bele, a saber, será. The guys did really well, they're really helpful, and most of them, you know, they seem like they're really keen to get in there. And, um, yeah, they were great help, we couldn't have done it without them, they were good. During this day of our task force, training in the Northern Territory, they're not only lucky to be trained by one of the best crocodile management teams in the world, but they themselves also attract a fair bit of media attention. The crocodile situation in Timor is also interesting to their Australian neighbours. Uh, what we see today is a result of um, some friendly discussions between neighbours at a political level. Also, the president of Timor-Leste wrote to our chief minister prior to our meeting about the idea of sharing information and knowledge. So it's the beginning of a, a long and uh, very good partnership. So, you know, this will go for many, many years to come. While the interview is still going on, Ranger Brett receives an emergency call. Now it's the time to shine and to step out there and prove the skills that our task force have learned. This is not a training. What this is, is a muscle relaxer. It was a big day for the task force team, and it's hard to believe how far they have come in only a few days. Today the blokes had a chance to see a large animal which was being caught. Uh, we had to utilise them and help them to hold the ropes and pull the animal up on board. I saw some good looks and smiles on their faces, so um, they got a chance to learn something different. You can't go wrong from there. And it's just all, all it is from there is experience, getting more and more experience, so you, how you handle crocodiles, and everything goes from there. <laughs> Our group even makes it to the local news on TV. A community in fear, their life source now the lair of a monster, stalking them day and night. A crocodile task force from Timor-Leste on hand to witness the capture and learn from our best during a two-week training exercise. A team of 10 hoping to develop skills in surveying techniques, capture and handling, as well as ways to boost public awareness after suffering an increase in crocodile-related deaths in recent years. After the news reporter's version, our Timorese heroes recapture the most exciting moments of the day. <laughs> Amna hira malam dah nanti mana korang ni. Tapi itu mahu berbe. Few itu lah sih. Mahu berbe. Kami itu takut ni matang orang. Muruk be ini tahu sering atau super tahu tu pistol orang bius ni. Tiru ni korang. Tiru lah. Abah lah. Fai bilang tu. Ibu lah bukan orang. Boleh jalan ni sayi mesti hanya yang ni meti berkesinnya ing. 
ప్రశాంత్ న్యాయం మళ్ళీ అక్కడ చూస్తాం ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ ఇలానే కార్ న్యాయం కూడా కిష్ మీద ఇంత న్యాయం నేను లిమానే నేను సిరిలా అయినా నైతే ఆమనా నైతే ఫేమ్ కార్ సిరా చాలా సాయి మీద తూలా అలా కార్లో హీ తిరే ఊజాబే త్రైలేరనే డార అది ఆ మూజ తాలి ఊజ త్రైలేరనే డార 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 సాత్యమే లేదు పొంతు కేసి హోతు లోరమైన కాంతరమైన ఆమన ఇది వచ్చే వారే అసిరా కోరే ఆమన కోరే ఇట్స్ ఎ న్యూ డే ఫర్ ఆ టాస్క్ ఫోర్స్ బట్ దే గోన్ టు సీ ఎన్ ఓల్డ్ ఫ్రెండ్ ది బిగ్ క్రోకడైల్ దే హెల్ప్డ్ బ్రింగ్ ఇన్ యెస్టర్డే Before the croc is being brought to the farm as usual its health condition is checked and measurements are taken The Timorese task force and the Australian rangers are impressed with the size of the crocodile even for the professionals this is not an everyday find and for the Timorese well this is certainly a moment to take pictures for friends and family back home <laughs> Now the rangers have to fix the crocodile on the trailer and start a careful transport. A croc this size is not easy to handle. Today our crew is lucky. They can learn crocodile capturing from one of the best in an exclusive lesson with Tom. Crocodile, what do you call crocodile? Ah, la fai. La fai. La fai. La fai. The ranger is happy to share a bit of his years long experience. Tom and the Timorese are doing the trap run on their own. Are the guys ready to be at hand for this? So the crocodile comes in. He grabs hold of it, then he pulls it and that's what shuts the gate. If you have it down too low, it's in the water and fish will eat it and it's only going to rot faster. So you got to have a have it up high. Might be just a boat ride today, no crocodile. <laughs> As there is no catch in the first cage after rebaiting the group moves on. Okay, blue rope. What we're doing from here, we see there's a croc in there. We see what size it is, then we know what size rope to use. It depends on the size of the crocodile. Pull him up, you got to hold him, okay? Hold him there. I don't want any further. Hold him there. Don't drop him. We can't reach eyes. Here, ma. La he buat dia ke kuan hati non ni prosedur ni ta lali ke tau. La difficult. La difficult ita la ita bela hati ni. The main thing we have to understand is safety. His safety, my safety, human safety. In high spirits after this first success. Ranger Tom and his group encounter an even bigger salty in the next cage. You be careful because they can jump. Okay? Slowly, slowly tap him again. Ba, ah, eh. Okay? Ha du? Yeah. Oh yeah. Let me do. Hi. Yeah. Let me do. Okay. Pull, pull hard, pull. Okay, hold him. Good one. Fosa, ni mukas, liki mukas. Besa ada, masa kita ladung saya dah ni ladung besa ada, ladung prepara dulu ni kita bela tahu. Tapi ni liki mukas. Servis dia kompeten. The size of the crocodile is so big that the guys need to pull it in from the back of the boat. That's it, beautiful. <laughs> it's all right, boy. It's all right. Stop there, put your foot on his head. Come on, like that. Good one. Okay, yeah, yeah. we're going home.
this is the first time I had a chance to be with the Timorese boys. Uh, we've got two crocodiles. Joa had a, go, had a go at it and it turned out really good. Put the snout rope on. Filomino had a go. The crocodile performed and he bit the stick and he jumped a bit. On one on the smaller croc we took him out of the top of the trap and on the other one we took him out of the end of the trap and brought him around the side of the boat. So it's all different ways of doing the croc. So there's learning all different things and different experiences. When I uh, <coughs> uh, pick him up the crocodile I must be yeah, tap him harder. Yeah, yeah. Well, you jump in. <laughs> Safety first, all the time. Yeah. Ten years ago, I was catching a crocodile. A crocodile grabbed my whole hand, but he spun and ripped my two fingers off and part of that hand out. He just ripped it off. He jumped. He did something different. Yeah, he did something different. Ten years ago, I caught thousands of crocodiles, but this one just done something different. Yeah. Ano experiencia de aquí da tamba ohe ame ita consegue caer la fagrua ese otro macho haru ba seda orienta ita tu car halusa depois lasu la fagna lusa da rasa ya tu car kesi ha un im se otro ne ese ema de que experiente te teves y ni fo orienta sa mi de que nunca falla ho ni ni anoi y ni fo ame mos sa ame ho calma ho zeito y y am mos consegue aprende buat balu que usinia Important to have a memory. Important to have a service and to have an experience that you can use to have a reference to have a service that you can use 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 to have a service we are now leaving our Timorese Crocodile Task Force. They have learned a great deal in a very short time. And they have gained not only experience, but also self-confidence. <laughs> I'm going to serve you today to be very happy with the president and the advisor, the assessor. It's very important. The group have a message to tell their fellow Timorese. If we want to make Timor-Leste even safer and more attractive for tourism, there is a need to react and to address the issue of problem crocodiles. We cannot wait to see the Crocodile Task Force's future training and the next steps of crocodile management in Timor-Leste.